Uh, well, the, the Democratic Party for for a very long time, not just this election cycle, has been doing a lot of active outreach around um, the South Asians, around the API in general, and and will continue to do it. I mean, we what we know in particular when you're talking about South Asian community, we're talking about the Indian community more specifically. Um, it is a growing community in the United States um, in terms of its voting bloc, in terms of its participation, and um, and I think the party knows that and and knows that this is part of a. a our collective community and, and there needs to be outreach and inclusion. And certainly you could become the first uh, Indian senator in U.S. history, which would be quite an accomplishment. Not good. <laughs> you could become the first uh, Indian senator in U.S. history, which would be quite an accomplishment. Not good. <laughs> and I, let me just say about Joe Biden, um, I have... <laughs> Secretary Marsha Floyds. And especially, and especially our incredible Vice President Kamala Harris. Best decision I made. You got more questions, but I tell you, if you have a problem figuring out whether you're for me or Trump, and you ain't black. Tonight, the leader of California's reparations task force is speaking out after state lawmakers blocked two reparations related proposals. Oh, the California no. Legislative Black Caucus decided to withhold those bills. Golston and Lisa Camila Moore was the chairwoman of California's historic reparations task force. That group wrapped up its work last year after spending years studying the effects of slavery, racial discrimination, and its impact on black Californians. She says she felt betrayed by the Black Caucus after it decided to block two bills. She's wait, 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 wait. Did they, did she just say the Black Caucus stopped the blacks from getting they rep? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Bag it on up, bag it on up. I know that's not what I just heard. I know that's not what I just heard. Chairwoman of California's Historic Reparations Task Force. That group wrapped up its work last year after spending years studying the effects of slavery, racial discrimination, and its impact on Black Californians. She says she felt betrayed by the Black Caucus after it decided to block two bills she says were fundamental for reparations. Oh, besties, besties, besties. I love us so much, okay? I just love us so much. We may not grow as quickly as other channels, but let me tell you something. We be learning, child. We be learning. I just went and pulled this up out of the files, child. We just talked about this a week ago, two weeks ago, with regard to the rubber damn rations out there in California, where the Black Congressional Caucus said, no, ma'am, no, sir. But over here now, we have everyone all happy because Cam Cam went over to the Black Caucus dinner, child, whatever the hell it is, with her buddy Joe damn Biden. And now everybody's all happy, happy, joy, joy, happy, happy. 
Now, Hollywood Unlocked is the one that posted it. You know who Hollywood Unlocked is because we also were watching them way back when, when Jason, what's his name, said, I don't understand why you all don't like Kamala. He was saying that for a long while. Okay, give him credit for his girl. Let me go ahead and read his caption. It says VP Cam Cam slayed, y'all. She slayed and even gave a shout out to the Divine Nine as she attended the Congressional Black Caucus Foundation's 53rd Annual Legislative Conference and Phoenix Awards Dinner. President Joe Biden also attended and thanked VP Harris, the crack Congressional Black Caucus members, socialites. Are you here for it? Mm, let's see if they're here for it. Blue heart, so I guess she's here for it, because that's signifying Democrats, of course. The next one says, did they go to the Congressional Black Caucus dinner last year? Mm, that's a good question. That is a good question. I don't know the answer. I'll let y'all let me know. She is a happy black woman in power, and I think that's what really bothers people. I love it. Oh, is that, is that what y'all think bothers people? Yeah, yeah girl, because she happy, child. Ka -ka 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 -ka. Let me tell you something. If she becomes president, I don't want to see no more TikTok videos about how bad life is, the economy is, the evictions, the eggs is high, the milk is high. As long as Cam Cam is happy, that's all that matters. And lest we not forget, as long as a AKA being sworn in by a DST on MLK Day, then that's all that daggone matters. Next comment says, See how her cleavage is covered? Very classy, very presidential. What is this accent? Ah, I'm glad they said that because in one second, y'all be saying code switching you shouldn't have to do at work. No one wants to code switch. No one should have to code switch. We should be able to speak and talk any way that we want to. But Cam Cam get in front of y'all, all of a sudden she got a black scent as some people have been calling it. A little edge, a little ghetto-ness, a little more black culture. But in the beginning, you know, she was talking about the uh, Indians, whatever she was talking about, child, in the beginning video where she was doing it all for her Indian side. But people ain't supposed to say nothing about one day she black, next day she not. Y'all keep on being fooled. Let me go ahead with these comments because, child, they funny. Next one says the fake accent again, so cringy. People are putting in they voting for Trump. Pandering at its grossest, she didn't earn this at all. No way can I vote for her, but no policies. That's cool, but what policies does she have that only benefits Black people? And wait, Black Caucus. So I don't even know that this group knows about the fact that the particular Black Caucus out there in California said, no, 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 no. They did it like that song. Yeah, no, 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 no. But child... I'm done with it, okay? I'm done with it as far as this video is concerned. We know, because we be knowing, y'all. Shout out to us. Y'all, please make sure you hit the like button. Subscribe if you are new. Make sure you comment. I see you all in the next one. Benefits that black family will benefit that community and society as a whole and the country. Right? Listen, th the reality also is this. Any policy that will benefit black people will benefit all of society. Let's be clear about that. Let's really be clear about that. So I'm not gonna sit here and say, I'm gonna do something that's only gonna benefit black people. No, because whatever benefits that black family will benefit that community and society as a whole and the country, right? We do not care.